Well, hello folks, this is Bill at Bill Reddick Outdoors. And I'm gonna try to see if I can't trap me a squirrel because I got a little young cur dog that needs a little training. But every time I put the traps on the ground, I end up catching a possum or a coon. And I really want to get me a squirrel. So what I've done is cut me a couple of boards and I'm gonna tie them together like this. I'm going to put me a brace under there and I'm going to tie my squirrel trap to the top piece up here and then this piece over here I'm going to screw it to the tree. I think it's going to work. I didn't have a little drill bit the size I needed so I'm using an old trick. I cut the head off a nail and put it in my drill motor and it's going to drill them holes in that wood just fine. Let's see if it'll do it. Who says you can't use a nail for a drill bit? Let's see if we can put them screws in there now. It ain't working just like I thought it would. Whew, that's tough. Well, it's coming along. Once I get my trap mounted on top, I can put this up against the tree and tack it to the tree. Folks, it sure does make things more difficult when you haven't got much to work with. I'm digging through a scrap pile, just hunting a few wood screws to try to put this thing together. Oh, I dropped it. Sure, hope it don't go all the way through and get my hand. There's one. Got two. Look at that. Two just might be enough. I believe it will. We're gonna try it and see. Oh, let's see. Sometimes you need four hands. I drilled some oversized holes for these nails to go in. What'd I do with my nails? Y'all wondering? how I'm going to get this down when I need to. I done got that figured out. I'm going to take this ratchet strap and tie it to the tree. And I'm going to take these bolt cutters and cut the heads off them nails. Then I can just undo that strap, slide it right off them nails. Got a strap to the tree. Now we're going to pop them nail heads off. She's all set up now. Got me a little pan of corn in the back. The squirrel can come up the side of the tree. And got a little gap for him there where he can go in a trap. We'll get this one caught. Well, it's been a few days later, but my little project worked just like a charm. Remember folks, whether you're at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick Outdoors. See y'all.